Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond and today is day 1165 of my ketogenic journey where I'm going to try not to be too loud because while everybody's here it's super quiet and Athena's sleeping so we're going to try that. Anyway you guys, for those of you who are new here, I've used keto to lose over 155 pounds, that's half of my entire body and uh, I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday, I'll be right back with a chit chat and a brand new weigh in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, all that good YouTube jazz that makes me smile and helps this channel grow. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave. Me style. <laughs> Keto diamond style. Cory broke our fast today with a gift from Janet Greta, who is a fellow keto YouTuber, um, of Ross Chocolates. So we broke our fast at 2.30 p.m. with one bar each. And you'll be seeing that in the upcoming video. Two eggs and uh, two better with cheddar sausages fried up for a uh, first meal. Uh, after uh, the breakfast meal, the actual meal, uh, we had a Love Good Fats bar and a cheese stick, mozzarella. I'm having a Dave's triple. We needed some sustenance. <laughs> calories and macros per MyFitnessPal website. 1,790 calories. 39 grams of total carbohydrates. A lot of that was from net carbs, but I didn't do the addition or the subtraction. 135 grams of fat and 113 grams of protein. I just used my new Keto Mojo meter to check my GKI, which is a cross between your blood glucose and your ketone levels. Ketone 0.7, blood glucose 113, if that's accurate, and it gave me an 8.9. 8.9, anything under a 9 is in ketosis, however, it's a very low level. Uh, for those using keto therapeutically for the treatment of disease such as cancer, epilepsy, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, traumatic brain injury, and chronic inflammation, infl infl it, chronic inflammation. Uh, Y'all know what it means. So, yeah. If you are interested in getting the Keto Mojo kit, they are 15% off with the link below. Guys, new nail color. Did my nails tonight. Well, I painted my fingers more than I did my nails, but that's alright. It'll come off in a couple dishwashes. Unfortunately, I think so will the polish. Uh, especially the baby pink, which is like a LA, je a LA color gel. And then I use this Mermaid Magic, which I am absolutely adoring that one. However, the pink... Yeah, it just, I don't know if it took too long to dry or if it just wasn't going to set right or what, but while I love it together, I don't think it's going to work out with that pink. So I saw a great question. I was on um, a live with Keto and Casey, keto, Go Keto with Casey, and somebody else asked her this question. Uh, their mother-in-law always makes them a specific holiday dish that is a, a sweet-based dish, and pretty much what should she do about it? And I thought, you know what? I have my own answer to this question, and I thought it would be a great answer to the question. So, talk to your mother-in-law in advance. You know, let her know about your diet, and come up with new ideals. Something else maybe she can make for you. If she's enjoying cooking for you, if she's going out of her way to make a specific dish for you, she probably doesn't really mind what that dish is, and you guys might be able to come up with a, a new tradition together. I know if it was my daughter-in-law, and which in this case I do have one, and I have my daughter, and they both want to stay keto for the holidays. If they tell me, you know, I, I really just don't want to eat that this year, um, I appreciate it, but can we make something else? I'm like, girl, yes, what you want? Let's figure it out together. Come up with a recipe, and we'll we'll give it a shot, you know? So I think that's very helpful, and I think everybody had a mild snafu here yesterday. Um, okay, so Destiny, I've already talked to her. She tried those keto waffles with the keto good good syrup. She believes they mess with her. She did go up a little bit. They could mess with me. When I was um, actively using them last week or over the last couple of weeks, I really couldn't tell a lot um, because of the sweetener I was using in my coffee creamer. Now, again, I hate to keep explaining this, but a lot of people are new to me. So, I make my coffee creamer in a 16-ounce bottle, and uh, I was adding, it's just unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and then I was using also um, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener powder in it, uh, a, half a, a half a teaspoonful. And um, for the longest time, that was messing with me, and I didn't know it. Now, it could be that the Lakanto sweetener is not as keto-friendly as we think. It could be that it's just my body overreacting to it. Or it could be that that's not a good way for me to break my fast. It might be something I could use 
like later in the day, but if I drink coffee later in the day, I ain't gonna get no sleep. So, yeah, I figured that out the other day. The new sweetener I'm using uh, over the course of this past week has allowed me to hit three brand new weight loss lows, and my weight loss has been semi-stalled for a little while. So, but y'all saw how I broke my fast yesterday, and breaking my fast, how I broke my fast, seems to be extremely important. There are certain things that I can get by with that, um, Love good fat bars. They seem to be okay to break my fast with. The performance nut butter seems to be okay to break my fast with. And then, of course, that or a whole real decent fatty, proteiny breakfast. Proteiny. Protein-filled breakfast. Those seem to be okay to break my fast with. But, um, probably shouldn't have used that chocolate bar. Now, now, Janet, I'm sure, did not send that to me to break my fast with. But, when we pulled up at the post office, found those, we happened to be fasting. Hello! Never mind, she's awake. <laughs> that happened quick. Um, but anyway, so how I break my fast seems to be very, very important. Choosing to break my fast with that yesterday, not the smartest ideal. As a result, I did go up a little bit. Nothing too severe. Still within the realm of the new lows I've hit this week. I'm good with that. My new goal for right this minute is keeping my nighttime way in the way in before I go to bed below 159. Um, I can usually judge the next day's weigh in by the nighttime's weigh in within two to three pounds. So let's go ahead and get to this morning's weigh in, which was as a result of what I ate yesterday. Top of the too damn early to you. <laughs> See what this thing says. All right, 157.6. That is 1.2 pounds up there. Was definitely a little something, something. Now, I know it had to do with how I broke my fast. I went up, let's see, is that 1.2 pounds from yesterday or 1.1? What was that yesterday? Uh -huh. Handy dandy, happy planner with my little book in it. Let's see here. What was it yesterday? Okay, so I'd hit a new low yesterday of 156.4. Today I am 157.6, so that's 1.2 pounds up. Love writing it down. Uh, <laughs> I love writing everything I eat down too. It's very, very helpful for me. Um, kind of helps me monitor what could be potential culprits. Now, I mean, again, most of you guys have been here for a little while, so you know all this, and I'm sorry to repeat myself, but new folks, man. Um, and I'm glad to have each and every last one of you here with me. It, it helps my journey be stronger it helps me continue on a lot better so it's it's very very appreciative you you have no idea how much you help me and if I can help just one of you in return I'm so thrilled to do it so um I know that it was how I broke my fast yesterday because I didn't even eat anything at all that I shouldn't other than that now um for the last several days like I told you I'd ate oh my son's playing with the baby uh I, I'd eat like half of a cheese stick. I'd eat a cracker one day, a cracker the next day. So I'd had a little, little something kind of sprinkled throughout the days. But how I broke my fast was kind of the more important thing. Um, not that you should have a cracker here and there or a cheese stick that's breaded here and there. But the fact that it didn't mess with me yet, the chocolate bar did, which also was very high in fiber. Now, I know I've heard Thomas DeLauer say that fiber, high fiber, will kick him out of ketosis. So I can only assume that it might happen to, you know, other folks. I don't know if that happens to me because, in general, my foods are not super high in fiber, but um, it, it could be that. Now, like I said, the chocolate bar could prove to be perfectly keto-friendly in the long run, just not a smart idea to break your fast with. But it also could be that it's just got too much fiber for me and everybody's a little different. Now, we'll see how different everybody is. Corey has yet to weigh in. She's yet to get in here this morning. So, she might have a different experience with it. She's also on a different stage of her ketogenic journey. I find that earlier in your keto journey, you can get by with more. The longer and longer you do in it, the less and less you tend to get by with. So, we'll see how she, she how her body reacts to it in just a little bit. But first, I want to talk to y'all about something and show y'all something, okay? Because I have to. Me and hubby last night, we made a decision. We got the boys' Halloween costumes. We didn't get the uh, Athena's yet because we weren't exactly sure what her mama wanted her to be. I knew she had mentioned a couple different ideas, but 
I didn't know for sure, for sure. So, here's Zach's. He already tried it on. It looks good on him. He's going to be Venom. Now, once Corey saw Venom, she's like, but I wanted Anthony to be a Spider-Man with Zach's Venom because I talked about doing Venom for a while and even doing him Spider-Man, but when we saw it, Hubby's like, okay, you got to get that. I was like, because he would be the cutest Baby Yoda. Can y'all not see Anthony as Baby Yoda? Mm -hmm. Big old smile, big old wide eyes. That's Baby Yoda right there, man. I'm telling you, he is. He just is. And he's so adorable. Um, I just think, but his mom's like still kind of hooked on the Spider-Man. So she wants a receipt. She can exchange it for the Spider-Man. I don't mind. Mom and dad get the choice at that age, right? Um, but adorable. Now, I do think Destiny wants Athena to be a little chunky baby unicorn. So if I can find one of those, we'll do that. She also, uh, Lil Brown wanted her to be a little fat bumblebee. And I thought, that's adorable too, but I can't find the costume for a bumblebee. Uh, there is some on Amazon, but they're not that that great, you know? Y'all, I've, I've done some backward stuff lately. Some really backward stuff. So I have burned down like 10 or 15 of these. They are the pumpkin spice. Most of them are from Dollar Tree. I just put them in a glass thing. Smells so good. Dollar Tree pumpkin spice candles. I, who would have thought? Usually their candles aren't that great, so I don't bother with them. But those were strong and good. And then I found the same brand at Walmart um, for three 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 thirty three or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. But I burned all of these candles all the way down. And I went searching last night, and I ended up getting a vanilla candle. And the other day, I ended up getting pumpkin spice coffee instead of vanilla coffee. Shouldn't have switched these around, because... The vanilla coffee, well, I didn't have a choice with that. They didn't have none. Didn't have a choice with the candle either. They didn't have none. But, but the pumpkin spice candles smell so much better. And the vanilla coffee tastes so much better. But it is what it is, right? I mean, you know. The pumpkin spice coffee is growing on me, though. But it's still not as good of a flavor as that the vanilla I was using, the French vanilla. So, is what it is, is what it is. I cry a little bit. We gotta go back to Walmart any minute anyway because Hubby's alarm clock decided to just die last night. We don't know what happened to it. It's not even that old. Um, but it just up and stopped working and he's got to have it for work all week. And I need some nail polish from Amber because, yeah, that did, that one didn't take. <laughs> not y'all care about any of that. Alright, so I'm gonna sa save the ending segment for whenever Karina gets in here and she does her weigh in and we'll be right back with that. You guys, so y'all mind the mess, but Corey B has gotten into the room, and uh, she's done her way in and everything. You gonna scoot on over here and talk? Dad has my spot. Yeah, my spot. <laughs> it's his uh, chair. I don't care whose chair it is. It's my spot. when I'm doing the video of mom. All right. Uh, I went down only point two from yesterday. I was three hundred nine point four, but down is still down. Down is still down. Now, see, the chocolate bar, I do believe, affected her as well. Uh, just not on the same scale that it did me. If I didn't break my fast with it, I feel like it would have been That's what different. I was telling them. I think it was the, the fast break with it. That she didn't intend for us to, you know, grab that bar. And, but we did that. So Also, maybe if we didn't eat the whole bar. It's, I know a serving size is one bar, but I feel like maybe we, should, we could have broken it up and made it last right. a little while. Probably should have just broke our fast first and then tried it and, you know... I, I do believe that how you break your fast is a, a very big deal. So. Um, we do have one left. Um, we're not going to eat it right now. I'm going to wait a couple days and then we'll like split it in half and see what it does to us then. What do you think? Yeah. And that way we'll be able to kind of, but as far as, well, you know what? That, that's a whole different video. I did an unboxing and all that. So I'll show you all that in just a little bit. But down is down, like Corey said, and that's wonderful for her. And she's the only one that had it down yesterday. But it's all right. Um, anyway, guys and dolls, if you need my help, I help everybody do keto for free. Contact me. It's in the description below. Also, um, website, ketodiamond.com. Everything's written out, plain, simple, free, filled foods list, uh, beginner's guide, articles that I wrote, everything over there. And on the front of this channel, how to for beginners. I had an off skill victory. Oh, that's right. She did. Go. My ring fits. Right. I don't even know what size it is, but it's really small. I don't know where the ring size is right off, but it's... I had another ring that fits. It's still a little tight, but it will go on and off. Right. And that was the one that I was really wanting to fit again. Let's see if I can tell. That's probably about an eight. 
I was an 11. Size 11 on my ring finger. Yeah, I think I wear an 8 on my ring finger. So, um, on my pointer finger, rather. Eight. So, yeah, it's probably about an 8. It's my mom ring, the one that Grandma gave me. Mm -hmm. Right after I had Anthony, she gave it to me. She was like, you're a mother now. Here. Here's a mom ring, right? Um, she gave one to Haley, too, but Haley passed away, and then... Uh, she wanted to give one to Destiny, but she doesn't have one right now to give her, so maybe she'll come across one. This is mom on it or something at some point. I believe I wore that ring for a little while, too. I think we've, I remember We've had this it. one for a little while uh, in the family, so. I'm making you food. Anthony, baby. would you like to say hello? Oh, no. It's not nose baby Yoda. Okay, his old face is. <laughs> Fix that. I don't know He's, he's broken. Like. Get, uh, the, 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 get us a clean sock or something. <laughs> something. As long as it's uh, clean. So, yay, off-scale victories are fantastic. I felt fantastic and felt like I looked fantastic today, so that's off-scale. You got a um, little bit of a jawline. She's that jawline is nice when it starts coming out. Not nice when people hit it and your grandson gives you a black eye because he hits you, you, your bones. Yeah, but, well. having a little jiggle in some places is nice, but... <laughs> I got a lot of jiggle. Okay, <laughs> I mean, like... Huh? I got a lot of jiggle. And that went fine. Okay. Where else? I said to do it. Anyway, um, there are ways to support the channel in the description below. And Shashka bracelets, all kinds of stuff with great. Much love and many prayers, y'all.